In this video, we're going to explore the idea of an inverse function. So before we can talk about an inverse function, we need to know, well, what is a function? So we've seen this before. Um, to test whether something is a function, we use something called the vertical line test. And we know that something is a function if its x values, if its input values are not repeated, right? So if you do the vertical line test, that means that a vertical line will never intersect our graph at more than one point. Uh, so that means that something's a function. In order for a function to have an inverse that is also a function, our function has to be one to one. So what it means to be one to one is that none of our output values repeat. So y values are not repeated. And the way that we can test whether a function is one to one is we use something called the horizontal line test. So it's identical to the vertical line test, except we use a horizontal line. So it says that if we take a horizontal line and um, run it across up and down our function, if it ever intersects our function more than once at any given time, then our function would not be one to one, which would mean that its inverse would not be a function. So if we think about some of the popular uh, curves and graphs that we know, for example, the parabola, a parabola is actually not going to be one to one, right? You can see that if we do the horizontal line test, we can see that it's going to intersect our graph at two different points here. So it would intersect here and here. So a parabola is not one to one which means its inverse would not be a function. Um, but if you have something like a line, right, just a linear equation, uh, a linear equation is one to one. It passes the horizontal line test. Everywhere that you run a horizontal line, it's never going to intersect more than a single point. So this would be one to one, which means its inverse would be a function.